what started out as a backyard hobby is becoming an outlet for creative expression. When inside a hula hoop, Miss Hooptastic flows into another world. Hooping is more than dancing for me. Um, it's very grounding, very healing. It's it's meditative almost. It all started for her back in 07 when she attended a hoop making workshop. And I met some really lovely people and made my first hoop. Um, and then the following year, 2008, I started making hoops for friends. And some people were telling me, wow, you have the most beautiful hoops I've ever seen. And this was really exciting for me, so I thought, okay, I'm onto something here. And a small business was born. In 2009, after she began to sell hoops, Miss Hooptastic, or Miranda, began to perform at local events. And I realized how much I loved that, how much I loved giving people what I love to do as entertainment. I love performing, I love being on stage, I love entertaining people and making people smile. Do we want to practice our, did you have the vortex yet? Last year she learned how to teach hula hoop and is now offering classes on Saturday and Sunday mornings at Passion and Performance Dad Studio. We have going up, we have coming down. Because the hoop goes around, I think people assume that your body is also moving around. And when I learned how to teach hooping, I learned that your body is not doing that at all. Your body is either moving forward front to back or side to side. So I think that's the biggest misconception. If I give somebody a hoop, normally they try to move their hips around in a circle and they wonder why the hoop falls. Are we able to switch hands immediately and go back down? Wonderful. It's almost like learning a new sport. So it's, it feels like a sense of accomplishment. It also feels like I can lose myself and I also feel dorky and awkward at the same time. <laughs> And it's a lot of fun. Woohoo! <laughs> oh my goodness, you're doing it without your body. Woo! The full vortex! Amazing! And I get really excited when people start to get tricks. It can be very frustrating learning at first. And so when I see people get something and they get really excited, it makes me really excited that I help them to get to that place. Hula hooping is known as a flow art. And with growing interest from this community, Miss Hooptastic has sold heaps of hoops this summer. The fact she has a full-time job as a community support worker, she's looking to find more balance in her life and might have to take on an employee soon to keep up with orders. I would like to eventually have a class here where all of the students are interested in performing and we put together a choreographed group piece for the Passion and Performance end of year show. So that's kind of my next vision um, in terms of taking my teaching to the next level. She also wants to work on improving her own skills, bring more fitness elements into her hula classes. And I'm popping up with my knees. Now we're doing the booty bounce. The hula hoop is not just for around your waist. It's not just a toy anymore. So you can swing it up on your arm, you can bring it around your neck, around your feet pull one leg out, um, there's all sorts of things you can do with it. You can see Miss Hooptastic perform for yourself this Thursday night at the Passion and Performance Hotness Show at Svelte Lounge in Langford. Show starts at 8pm. Reporting in Victoria, I'm James Green.